welcome back to my channel it's me Zoe and in today's video I have my August empties so yeah summer has officially come to an end in like my view obviously fall doesn't start until September 21st but it is September 1st so I'll probably be putting up some fall decorations tonight so well I think by Sunday's video maybe you should be seeing some fall backgrounds more fall content and yeah so let's go ahead and get started so I have two full bath mud bags to show you guys um yeah I decided to film this two days early just because I don't think we're gonna use anything else up it is Thursday night and this is me up Saturday morning so it's like one day early really so um yeah let's go ahead and get started so the first thing I used up is the Dove Sense of Skin Bar and I did actually completely use this up. I took this on vacation um, to Missouri and I completely used up full bar soap in one week which I think is crazy but I was taking like two showers a day because I was going swimming and stuff so yeah that was my primary bar soap and the next one I'm currently still using the shower. This is the Dove Purely Pampering Sweet Cream Bar Soap. I got this in a giveaway. Um, I really do like this it has a hint of a floral note as it shows on there i'm not sure what kind of flower that is but it has like a floral a creamy floral so it's not a overpowering floral and it is a really pretty like grayish purple color so um very seasonally appropriate next i use up the garnier garnier um micellar cleansing water this is just the normal one the original I do like these. I use these on a cotton pad or a washcloth with this on it to take my makeup off and then I'll wash my face normally and do my skincare. These work really well. I did pick up the um, the waterproof version though because this sometimes I have a hard time getting off um, my mascara even though it's not waterproof. So I decided I'll just get the waterproof one. It's also more moisturizing because it has some oils in it. Sorry because you can't cut. Sorry if you see cat hair flying around, um, yeah, cat hair just accumulates in this bag because I have cats and their hair flies. The next thing I used up is the CeraVe, or CeraVe, I think CeraVe, Renewing Salicylic Acid Cleanser. Um, I think I picked this one up at Walgreens, well my mom did, and she likes her Biore charcoal cleansers better, so I was allowed to use this one, <laughs> um, and... I do really like it. I feel like it has helped clear the texture on my skin. Not necessarily take away acne super fast, but it's cleared like um, the milia and just the super small acne bumps. So I really liked that. And I'm currently having a breakout because my skin's just going crazy. I wasn't using the same products for a little bit or the same combination of products. And so my skin was dying. But um, we're healing. The only reason it gets ever this bad is because I pick it. I know you're not supposed to do that, but it bothers me so much that I just, I just pick it and I'm trying not to. <laughs> the next thing I used up is a wax melt. I used up the Watermelon Kiwi Lemonade. My goal this month was to use up all of my summer wax melts. I think I did. This was a very fresh watermelon. It wasn't like a candy watermelon. It was definitely a fresher watermelon with a hint of like a tart kiwi scent. It was very nice. I don't think I repurchased it, but it was okay for the time being. The next thing is like one of my favorite products ever. This is the Dove Nourishing Secrets Restoring Ritual Coconut and Jasmine Flower um, Spray Deodorant. I absolutely love this. This didn't like stop sweating like all the time, but it really helped block odor. And the only reason it needed to block a lot of odor is because I was transitioning from um, natural deodorant to normal deodorant and the um, natural deodorant I was using at the time kind of had stopped working because I had already been using it consistently for like three weeks and I was like okay I just need to use something to spray on lightly um so yeah that's what I use that for it was very nice I have now switched to using native deodorants and even though I'm still in that transitional period I think I've used them for about four days now so I have quite a while to go but um the scents on those are definitely more covering of that odor that happens in between the natural deodorant transition phase and the reason I decided to go on to natural deodorant or more like no aluminum aluminum free deodorant is because um 
my family does have a like history with breast cancer my grandma had it twice so I really don't want to encourage that at all so I am doing Luna free and it's been going well um I got the native deodorants in like lavender and rose coconut vanilla and cucumber mint those came in a three pack set for nine dollars and then for another three dollars I got the coconut mint cookie that one is so strong like that scent lasted all day and it smelled exactly like a mint oreo I love it and it was <laughs> anyways after that long ramble about deodorant um, I also used up the What's the Scoop Cherry Vanilla Float Hand Soap. The notes are Juicy Cherries, Shaved Coconut, and Vanilla Cream. This wasn't a memorable scent. I mean, if it was like a dollar, yes, I would purchase it. But for $2 at the outlet, it's not memorable enough for even $2. So there's that. The next thing I used up is the Find Your Happy Place Sweet Treats Brown Sugar and Caramel Hand Sanitizer. This is a basic hand sanitizer and it did have kind of like a pancakey smell so I did like that but I would not repurchase from that brand yet because I haven't really tried out their body kit yet which I do have some of it but I mean it wasn't really worth it and I can get um, Beth Modric's hand sanitizers much cheaper. Okay I went through a candle and this is the strawberry pound cake candle from the New Year's collection of this year. Um, the notes are fresh strawberries, golden sugar cake, and whipped cream. I've had multiple strawberry pound cake candles. Uh, this is my first three wick, but I've had multiple single wicks. I think I've had two single wicks, this is three wick, and I have another three wick as well. So it smelled really nice. Uh, it burned pretty well. There's a little residue on the sides, but um, the sitting was negligible. So nice candle, and I do love me some strawberry pound cake. The next thing I used up is the Pastel Skies Cleansing Body Mousse. I was using this kind of product for a shaving cream, but I've since switched from that and I just use like moisturizing body washes now and I think it works much better in my opinion <laughs> so that's that and um I use this in my bath to finish it up so yeah okay the next thing I used up is the iced cinnamon rolls pocket bag it smells just like the body care yeah very sweet very cinnamon rolly definitely like a cinnamony super sugary scent and that is rolls Who's licking himself. <laughs> I also used up the fresh coconut and cotton wallflower. The notes are coconut, coastal breeze, and beachside cotton. I had two of these going in my room at once. The other one will probably be in here, but to me, um, most super fresh scents smell kind of like, kind of like, like a bathroom. Like, I think I've said that, I don't know, it was like the Fiji scent or something from sensationals it smells like just a public bathroom like the public bathroom scented stuff they put in there yeah that's what this smells like too it is not an enjoyable smell i will not be purchasing that again in the wallflower the body care is nice but not the wallflower and there's the other one of that so i used up two of those um i kind of suffered through it but i was gonna use it up so yeah the next thing i used up is the mango cove pocket back i did not like this this smelled like honeysuckle i hate and i mean hate the smell of honeysuckle um it's disgusting in my opinion if you like it it must smell good on you because it does not smell good on me <laughs> um i really don't like it and i will never purchase that scent yeah the next thing you use up is the berry waffle cone hand cream i've had this sitting on my desk to use up for a very long time i finally used it up using it as a like a foot treatment so that's what that was for I love berry waffle cone, but it can be really, really strong sometimes. So, on to bag number two. The next thing we used up is the pink apple punch soap, and we use this up today. The notes are crisp apple, sunkissed melon, and sugar crystals. It smells like candy watermelon. So nice, so sweet, and it's just like a sour candy kind of smell. I really do like it. What do you purchase? The next thing I used up is the Kiwi, <laughs> the Kiwi Botanicals Hydrating Body Lotion. This was just in like their sea kelp scent, but I did end up putting a green tea fragrance oil in this just to struggle through this. The formula is really kind of like unemulsified. It just has like a beady texture from like um, unmelted and unblended like um, oils and butters. So not my favorite. It could be due to that the place it sits in is kind of like their air conditioner. 
what it was like that when I got it, so I don't really think so. The next thing I used up, I absolutely loved, and this is the Sugar Scoop Beauty Coconut Smoothie Hand and Body Scrub. I will put her Instagram handle down below. I love this stuff. I don't know how much it costs, but um, if it's not over like $15, I would totally repurchase this. It smelled amazing. It smelled kind of like a mix of co- it's kind of- I cannot speak today. It smelled kind of like copper coconut sands. It also smelled kind of like my Bali Black Coconut Bamboo perfume, which is so weird because I've been finding things like, that smell like that like all the time. Or like after I made that, I just found like so many other scents that like pair with it because I don't have body care in that scent. It's crazy. Yeah, this like smells like the body care version of that scent. Um, I mean, I'm sure she made that before I made my perfume because I don't know how long she's been in business. Anyways, it pairs really well with that. Um, and it also smells like copper coat sands, but a little more of a developed scent. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's go on the next things. I also used up the Filling Awesome Strawberry Pound Cake Pocket Bag. These things are super strong. I really do enjoy them. I also, in the bathroom, we used up the blackberries and basil from spray. I use these for bathroom sprays because, I mean, I think they smell better than normal aerosol bathroom sprays. So. That's just my opinion, and currently in the shower I have another Dove Sensitive Skin Bar. I'm getting low on them, I think, even, because I've used up so many of them. Um, we also used a watermelon lemonade wallflower, but the the oil thing got lost, so. The notes are watermelon ice, sparkling water, and my lemon. It's nice. My mom really likes watermelon lemonade. We're in the living room, so. Um, then I also opened up a Crest 3D White um, Stain Eraser. My toothpaste. I love these. They're not super super minty. It's the flavor refreshment, but I do think they whiten your teeth. So we also used up a pink lemonade hand soap. The notes are strawberry puree, tart lemonade, and pink sugar crystals. This again wasn't memorable. It smelled nice, but it's kind of like a weird lemon smell, like lemon cleaner with a hint of like a berry smell. Not my favorite, but again, not so memorable. And in the kitchen, we used up the Vanilla Cloud hand soap. The notes are whipped vanilla, apple blossom, and sandalwood. Would repurchase, um, but I'm not going to smell it because the scent was tainted. My dad poured another hand soap into it. So, anyways. I also used up the Copper Coconut Sands body cream. Again, this and Coconut Smoothie paired really well together. So, yeah, it smells amazing. This one's a little more creamy, and that one's a little more like fruity coconut. Sorry, I'm watching one of the cats. She's like playing with her own tail. It's cute, but <laughs> making noise. The next thing I used up is the Sunwashed Citrus Smoothie Scrub. This was an outlet find. I found the smoothie scrub in the hair mist. Um, I used this one up. I used this for exfoliating after I went to the pool. And a pro tip, if you are transitioning from like aluminum deodorants to aluminum free, scrubbing your armpits every day with a gentle scrub really helps. Like get all the residue of the aluminum dinner away like it really really helps so that's what i used for and i use it after the pool as well like in the showers after the pool not in the pool obviously um in the living room we used up a cereal and cartoons wallflower i love this scent other people don't really love it um the notes are toasted cinnamon crunchy cereal and cold milk it smells like cinnamon toast crunch and i would repurchase for my room but my mom would not repurchase for the living room. She didn't hate it, but she likes more cinnamony fall scents than cinnamony like bakery scents. Another thing I used up, which I hated, was the You're the One whipped glow shade. It's not that I hate You're the One, because it's not the worst scent ever. I hate the glow shade formula. It sm Ugh. Sorry, <laughs> it just smells bad. It doesn't smell terrible. It's not here though. The glow shade formula is so gritty, and I was having like a skin reaction from something previous and this was so gritty with glitter that it was actually like scrubbing on that part where I put it and it was hurting it so if you have very sensitive skin do not use these um because that one has so much glitter that it like hurt to rub it in it was bad so I would not repurchase any lotions in my entire existence the next one we used up is the pumpkin pecan waffles. The notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. I'm not sure why my mom put this in the the little bathroom, like in the middle of August. I don't know why. She like picked this one and put it in there. I'm like, it's I don't know, but it's a nice scent. 
probably would have would probably would have purchased and it's a pretty bottle in my room i used up the toasted pineapple marshmallow wallflower the notes are fresh pineapple milk chocolate toasty marshmallows and graham cracker sorry um it smells really good it definitely had a chocolate element and a very very slight pineapple note but i liked it enough to get the single wick candle because i couldn't find three but the three egg but i do like it i also used up the pink pineapple sunrise mini body cream i am on a mission to use up my mini body care just by when i travel or putting on my desk to use up i use this up and i'm very happy because i feel like mini body care doesn't have any value to me unless it's a super exclusive scent so yeah i also used up the aloha cutie passion fruit candle this took forever for me to get through because when I, when I had this candle out, I was just not in my room a lot because it was summer and I was just working in our family's grocery. So yeah, next I have the pineapple mango wallflower. Again, this was in my room. Um, the notes are fresh pineapple juice, mango, and vine ripened raspberry. It's just a plain pineapple mango scent. I think I have a second one of this. Um, and I do enjoy looking, or no, this is a living room. I have one of these and I enjoy to use it along with Isle Margarita next year somewhere. So yeah. Okay. The last thing to use up is a pen. These are the Pilot G205 uh, millimeter pens. These are the best pens ever. And if you can find the 0.3 age, you've got even better luck. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a super, super long video. Speed it up if you have to. Um, but this is the last part, so it doesn't matter. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you stay until the end. Leave me an orange heart down below for lit pumpkin season and awesome.